Hey guys, it's Marlon Murdoch here at HallelujahLifestyle.com and I'm doing this quick video to share with you an upcoming series, series that I'll be doing. I want to do this series to inform you of a crisis that exists that you may not be knowledgeable of. It affects a lot of women and many persons don't know that it is a crisis. Guys, our women are losing their wounds like never before. I've never seen so many women losing their womb to a condition called uterine fibroids. And so I'm doing a special feature presentation series, special uh, presentation series on uterine fibroids or uterine fibroids, the silent crises. I mean, as I said, I've never seen so many women losing their wombs to uterine fibroids. Fibroids are non cancerous tumors that grow inside the womb or outside the womb. And it affects the, uh, women between the ages of 30 and 35 and is predominant among black women. You know, I've been working with uh, women with uterine fibroids long enough to know that it is serious. You know, recently I was in St. Elizabeth uh, doing some promotion, uh, doing some advocacy, and I went to a particular hospital. I gave out five tracts, and of the five tracts that I gave out, three of those women said to me that I was too late, that they had already removed their wounds. I went back into Black River, went to a camp, and was talking some, to some women in the camp. There were three women in that taxi, and one of them said that I was too late. She had removed her wound already. And it, it led me to think, me thinking, was I really too late? Yes, maybe, maybe I didn't get a chance to reach you, Maybe I didn't get a chance to reach um, you because you had removed your room already. But what about your daughter? What about your sister? What about your niece? Uterine fibroids is not caused by a germ, nor is it caused by a bacteria. It is caused by a lifestyle. A lifestyle that allows us to introduce a chemical called estrogen in the body. And the thing about um, what causes uterine fibroids is that it also affects our men. Our men are 50% less fertile now than they were 50 years ago. And you know, it's, I'm doing this video because it, it's, it's causing me to think, is this a deliberate plan to cut down reproduction among black people, among people of color? Uterine fibroids is not only a crisis here in Jamaica, it's a crisis in the US, it's a crisis in Canada, it's a crisis in, in the UK. I mean, everywhere I talk to persons, our black women are losing their wounds like crazy. I'm thinking what is going to happen in the next 10 years? What is going to happen in the next 15 or 20 years? Will it mean that 100% of our women during the age of 30, that's, I mean, that's a prime time in your life. Will it mean that 100% of our women between the ages of 30 and 35 will lose their womb? This is a video that you want to send out to every single person in your panda. I know, I received a lot of videos that I've been asked to share with, but this is one that you will want to share because, my friend, this literally may mean that in the next 30 years, as a people, it may become difficult for us to reproduce ourselves. It is for that reason why I'm doing a, a series that will be explaining what causes you to fibroids, what you can do naturally to reverse it if you have it. We have developed a product right now before I came here. Um, I got up about 6 o'clock and I've delivered about two bottles of that product to women who have been bleeding uncontrollably. This is a crisis, guys. This is something, the information that I'm sharing with you, I'm looking for every opportunity to speak on politics. I'm looking for every opportunity to share in social settings. Our people need to be educated before it is too late. And so what you can do is help by sharing this video. And after sharing this video, I want you to subscribe to our channel so that as these videos are released, you will get them and you will be able to share them. Guys, 
The greatest weapon against sickness and disease is not medication. My advocacy is not just about the product that we are giving to persons. My advocacy is about the information because the greatest weapon against sickness and disease is education, not medication. And so I want to thank you for taking the time out to watching this video and I hope that you will do the right thing in subscribing to our channel as well as sending the video to somebody else so that once I begin to release this information, I don't know, I know it is going to cause problems, I know that it is going to make a lot of people mad, but I don't care. It's no longer about me, it's about the sustainability of my people. It's about the sustainability of my race. I'm not pointing fingers here, but I'm just saying that it's pretty, pretty strange that fibroids is so high among black women. So I'll be sharing with you, what is it that you have in your house? Many of you, what is contributing? I just spoke to a lady, I just went to her house and I sat down with her and I asked her to go inside her room and I asked her to take up some of the products that she was using and I was able to show her one by one the poisons that were causing her to be bleeding the way she's bleeding. Again, I want to thank you for watching this video and I hope you do the right thing in sharing it. Remember, your health is your responsibility and the greatest weapon against sickness and disease is education, not medication.